Hey everybody, this is Paul. So I had somebody ask me recently, um, why does the derivative of x to the n equal n times x to the n minus 1? So to answer this question, what I've decided to do is I'm going to do a four-part playlist. And so parts 1, 2, and 3, I'm just going to be covering some math uh, concepts that we need to understand before we get to the fourth video, which is going to be the proof. So in video number four, I'm basically going to show you why this is true. And in videos one, two, and three, I'm going to give you guys some a bit of a math foundation that you're going to need in order to follow along in video four. So for video one, I'm just going to cover what we call a factorial. And actually, I'll be doing that in this video. This is video number one. And uh, video number two, I'll be covering a combination. And then for video three, what I'm going to do is I'll be covering the binomial theorem. So the binomial theorem. So this is how it's going to work out. So in this first video, I'll just uh, quickly discuss factorials. And in the next video, I will uh, discuss combinations. Video number three, I will uh, be explaining the bino binomial theorem. And in the fourth video, I will actually be showing you why this is the case by using um, all of these things right here to kind of show you um, how this proof works. So anyway, so for this first video, video one, we're just going to focus on a factorial. So if you already know what a factorial is, you can go ahead and skip ahead to video two. And uh, basically all a factorial is, if we had, for instance, four factorial, it's just four with an exclamation point. And so that simply means that you just start with the number. So in this case, it's four and you just multiply it by one less than four and then one less than that number and then all the way down to one. So basically four factorial is four times three times two times one. So four times three is 12, 12 times two is 24 and then 24 times one is still 24. So four factorial is equal to 24. So for another example, if we did five factorial, it's going to be five times four times three times two times one. So you start with the number five and you just decrease by one and multiply them all together. Well, we already know that uh, four factorial is 24 and this right here is really four factorial. So this part right here is 24. So five factorial is just going to be five times 24 and five times 24 is equal to 120. So five factorial equals 120. And that's basically the uh, fundamentals of a factorial. The only other thing that I should probably mention about factorials is uh, if we have zero factorial, that's defined to be one. And one factorial is also defined to be one. And when we're dealing with factorials, uh, we don't take a negative factorial. So we don't really have anything to define, let's say negative one factorial or negative two factorial. So we're not gonna worry about anything like this. So it's always going to be positive numbers, and if it's a zero factorial or a one factorial, it simply equals one. And if it's any other uh, integer, basically, it's going to be that integer uh, multiplied by one less than that integer, and then you keep subtracting one all the way down until you get to one, multiply them all together. And uh, so that's basically what a factorial is. So anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, and I will be covering um, combinations. So thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.